a burger, eat a burger, eat a burger, eat a burger, eat a But I don't want to. Eat a Good morning, evening, day or night, Canada to guide, ladies and gentlemen, who quest or troll the wonderful land of YouTube. My name is Cholombo, and welcome to another episode of Cholombo's Burger Bonanza! Yeah! Okay, and before we get to the ingredients, and, well, how to make this burger generally, we're gonna do a thing that we always do, and that is shout outs! I shouted out shout outs. Good, 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 metal ears are destroyed now. Okay, so let's time to shout out to people who voted. Well, kinda, because High Voltage voted on the fifth option. He said, none of the above because I hate seafood. Okay, he hates seafood, so, well, if you're watching this one, then stick around to the end and vote on something that isn't seafood related. So then there was, there was one other guy that voted on the burger that didn't win. And his name was KingD353 and he voted on, well, he voted on the wine and dine fish burger because it, well, it sounded fancy. That's why he voted on that. And then people returned because the funky crab burger didn't win the last time and there were people now who were gonna say like, no, it has to win. It has to be made. One of those people was Cheesy Mr. Poof. He voted on the funky crab burger. Mariah Walford, Mystery Grill, also voted on the funky crab burger. Then we had Delorean Gull voting on the crab burger. And finally, we had Iskali Goli voting on the crab burger. So, that's a 4 to 1, yeah, 4 to 1 ratio. So, I guess we're gonna be making a funky crab burger today. But what do you need for that burger? Well, the ingredients are right here, and you're gonna see them now. We have some small shrimp. Well, I don't know if you call them shrimp here, yeah, over there. You're like, gray shrimp from the North Sea. Then we have some cornflakes. Want some milk with them? Mm. Then we have crab. So much crab. Then we have, well, some red beans, obviously. Then we have three eggs. We have some tomatoes, and I've sliced them, put some black pepper, some salt on there, and some olive oil, because that's the way to make the best tomatoes for a salad. Then we have the iceberg lettuce. Oh, fuck you, iceberg lettuce, stay in there. Then we have both red onions over here and some uh, spring onions over there. Oh my god. Then we have some parsley and some dill weed, you fucking dill weed. Oh yeah. Then we have some mayonnaise with olive oil. Then we have some hot sauce, some curry ketchup, some whiskey, some olive oil infused with lime. Then we have some uh, lobster fa uh, lobster tea, yeah. Then we have some white pepper, because we also have black pepper, so it's not racist. We have some dragon, and dragon. And then we have some uh, garlic powder, and some salt. That's a salt shaker. Uh, we're gonna start off by making the sauce. That's all we're gonna do. It's gonna be a cold sauce, so we don't need to bake anything. And we're gonna make the sauce, stir it up, taste it, and then put it in the fridge until the rest of the burger is done. So, it's gonna be easy. So, we're gonna be making a cocktail sauce. And basically a cocktail sauce is a mixture of ketchup and mayonnaise. Most of the time they use like tomato ketchup, but we're gonna use curry ketchup because we can. And because we prefer that. I'm gonna chiz my mayonnaise all in there. Ah! 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 <laughs> Sorry, but a bit overboard there. That's gonna be enough mayonnaise. And we need, like, sort of an equal amount of ketchup as well. So, I'm mixing it up now. And as you can see, it doesn't look like a sauce yet. Yeah, it does, does look like two sauces mixed together, but hey. So it needs to have that like orange color, obviously, because you've been mixing a white sauce and a red sauce. It already has the right color for cocktail sauce. It kind of has the right color for cocktail sauce, so that means that we have had enough of both sauces in there. Okay, so the color looks good. 
And this could be a sauce by itself. This is regular cocktail without anything. So I'm gonna put in some hot sauce in there. Then we're gonna put in a little bit of the lime infused olive oil. Not too much. Then of course we also want some whiskey. Of course. Of course. By the way, what fell in there with the olive oil? That's just uh, some of the spices from the olive oil. The olive oil is also spiced to some extent. So now we have a mixture of, uh, well, we have an emulsion here. We have some of the fatty stuff, which is really greasy, and we have some of the liquids. And you should beat them up into a hole. Yeah. We just want to add like some of the lobster flavor to it, like this. It's a rock lobster! <laughs> Oh my god, no, 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 yeah, 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 oh! The rest of this will be solid, so that's easier. What we have here first, it's quite easy, it's spring onions. Some red onions, I'm just gonna do that for the first tea. Here's a dill weed, and we're gonna get some of the parsley in there. So that can all go in there. This is gonna help absorb some of the some of the liquids from the sauce, so it the emulsion becomes more of a sauce again. So this goes into the fridge. So now we're gonna turn this into two burgers. Oh my god, it's gonna be magic! I'm gonna lightly beat up two eggs. Kill the one. Okay, this is one egg. And Petal's gonna eat the shell. <laughs> Did it on purpose? Yes. On purpose. Here, eat this one as well. We're gonna lightly beat the eggs off. Oh my god! I'm gonna pour that over there. I hope it gets somewhat sticky. It's a funky crab burger, so it's bound to have some funk to it, some soul, yeah. Oh yeah, some hotness. Some of the lime-infused olive oil is gonna come in here. Real hard. Some black pepper. And some white pepper. Oh my god, that's enough. Put a little bit of garlic in there as well. A little bit of dragon. Salz, yeah! In my pantalones! Dillweed. Some of the parsley in there as well. Yeah. So we're gonna cut this up and turn this into the burger seasoning. Yeah. Some more of the fresh tastes will be going into the burger as well now, you see. Now we'll have to see how good it sticks, because otherwise we're gonna have to, well, some crab uh, cakes use mayonnaise, so if it doesn't get sticky enough, we might need to add mayonnaise or something. So we're gonna make it a bit stickier with some mayonnaise. Make some mayonnaise over there. And then we might get in some breadcrumbs to dry it up a bit. Start making the burger, just start trying to make it round a bit. Okay, I dipped it in the cornflakes now. As you can see, if we show the blade, but I'm gonna make the second burger. It's gonna be another pain in the ass. 
holding on, it's just a, another pain in the ass. Hey, burger, leave my hands alone. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. Holding on, you're just so fucking sticky and you're annoying the fuck out of me. We are getting rather annoyed, yeah. Do -do. Where our crab is gonna burn in hell. Burn in hell. It's a good smell. So, assembly time! First, you take open this burger, rip it apart, and put some lettuce on there. A lot of the green stuff. Don't smug it, because I don't think you can smoke salads. Then put like two slices of Tomato on there, yeah, nice fatty tomato. Then put some of the red onions over there, like a, a fine, uh, well, handful. Then you put some of the beans on there, like red beans, obviously. Now it's time for the special thing. The burger itself is kind of special, isn't it? It's made out of crab. Crab. Sorry, I said crab. Crab. Now it's time for the final steps, and that is jizzing all the sauce on there. Need some sauce on there. Pronto! Sauce pronto! Porno, porno! Giorno, buongiorno! Everyone loves porno! <laughs> really? It was a famous Italian song called Who the Fuck Made This Shit? So then, some of the shrimps on there, like the small ass shrimps. They come from North Sea, so they're like prominent here in Belgium. We eat them a lot. But then people from the Netherlands come and they go in front of our shores with their stinky boats and they go like, I'm gonna steal all them shrimps! And they're like, no, let me shoot them. And then we see Dutch people dying. And, no, that never happens. But they do come over here to take the shrimp away. <laughs> Burger dance! Oh yeah. <coughs> Burger dance! Oh, do the burger dance! Fuck the burger dance! Oh, oh snap! Shrimp! Um. <laughs> so we thought the burger would collapse because it didn't look like the burger itself was quite durable or something. I don't know. Yeah. It looked like flimsy and stuff, but it tasted really great before it was cooked. So let's see what it tastes like now. Mm. And the, there's only one way to taste a big fat burger like this. What's that metal? With a big fat monster ball! Well, it's fucking tasty. It's not just tasty, it's actually fucking tasty. Yeah. Just is gonna fall! I'd say this burger is crap-tastic! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in case you guys didn't catch that, it's crap-tastic. And it really is fucking tasty, it gives you a fucking boner! Like it's lifting up a table, my boner! <laughs> no. It is really tasty though. Try to make the sauce yourself, it's really good as well. Yeah. We can use it for other fish-related stuff as well. You don't have to use curry ketchup. Uh, it, it might change very drastically in taste if you use regular tomato ketchup. So yeah. I don't know. It's a great burger. It's craptastic. Stick around to vote. arrived at the end of the show. Yeah. Now it's time for you to pick one of these four burgers. Yes, there are four new burgers, well, three new burgers. Since King D voted for the wine and dine burger, that's back on the menu. Well, possibly, if you guys order it. Duh. The second thing that's on the menu is a Completely new burger. Well, not completely new. I'm just gonna show you guys this. This is 42 burgers 
of which one has been made so far? Yeah, 42 burgers. And I think there's even more because I got tired of thinking of stuff. So that's where it stopped. So, the second option you have is the farmer's burger. It's a special beef burger with a gorgonzola dressing. It has some red beets, like red... No, just like the, the vegetable. There's some, uh, some wild lettuce and stuff between there as well. And some more secrets, so it's a good burger. I suppose. It could be a good burger. Well, this crab burger blew me away, so yeah. Could be a good burger, who knows? The third option, and... I didn't put it back in there, sorry people, it's we random generate which burger makes it into the next three new burgers that we add on top of the one that got the vote. Yeah. And the French Brie Supreme Burger is back. Since no one really votes on it most of the time, it's sad to have it in here. But maybe you can vote on it to get rid of it. Or because you really want to eat a burger that has Brie cheese on it, and that has like a, a special uh, walnut Mayonnaise-based sauce. Yeah, it's a special mayonnaise. That could be tasty. And there's bacon. That's always based. Basty. Basty bacon. It's always tasty. The final option, and we've had it before, and again, this has been randomly generated, it's the applesauce burger. So if you want to make your grandparents happy, make them an applesauce burger. And we can show you how to do it. Chicken applesauce. It's a chicken applesauce burger, so it has chicken, Applesauce? So it's really, yeah, it could be tasty. And we didn't, we can't really decide if we want to put blood sausage between there. I don't know how you call, guys call it. Blood is, it's a sausage made out of pig's blood. It's really tasty. It doesn't sound like that, but it's really tasty. So hey, let's see which burger beats the other ones into a bloody pulp and then gets eaten by us. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching our video. Did you like that video? Don't forget to like it if you like it. If you don't like it, like it as well. Leave a comment and share the video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and be real world stars. See you in the next video.